100%. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the next bout on the show. So please, firstly, welcome into the black corner, representing the legendary Shin Kick Muay Thai, Brandon Ninja He's nicknamed himself the Sexy Ninja, Brandon. He's gonna have to be double sexy today, my friend. Because this is a tough fight. Brandon And now, ladies and gentlemen, please give an equally warm welcome to his opponent this evening. Fighting out of the white corner and representing the world famous Jack of Hong Jim. Shark Davies! Shaq Davies, a name that's been about for a, a very long time. Very skillful competitor, my friend. There's a lot of credit to his name, a lot of credit, especially for his heart as well. I've seen him get dropped, come back and knock someone out. Yep, and I'll tell you what, he's stylistic as well. Proper Muay Thai, isn't he? Yep, One of them guys that you don't look at as like a kickboxer at all, he's pure. Muay Thai style. He's not afraid to bite down and get on with it though. He's not afraid to have a scrap. The entrance of Shaq Davis here. Jack of Bond Jim represented very, very well here on this show here today. So, Davey! Very exciting one. Two good styles. I've yeah, trained, I've trained with Brandon. He's yeah, got Brandon very, very good style. Strong fighter, good prospect kid. Shaq Davies. Good stylistic. The house to see Ladies and, and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for five there. three minute rounds and will be contested He's under four Muay Thai rules in the 65 kilogram division. Over to your referee. Last time I saw Shaq fight, I interviewed him afterwards. I had to cut the interview short because of the blood that was dripping out of him. I, he had to go and get stitched up. He's, he is such an entertaining fighter. Yeah, he's happy to go to war. Some of these guys, they love Muay Thai. They love the taste of their own blood. They love the taste of their opponent's blood even more. It doesn't deter him in any way. And uh, we're now in that sort of category of fights as we get on with this show, as we get to the business end of the card. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this has got the uh, minerals for a oh, round one. fight. Shin kick and Jack upon Jim, corner to corner here, live on Leapfrog Fight TV. Combat Fight Series have filled up the York Hall venue here. Bethnal Green, East London. Very calm, collective start from both fighters, showing their experience in A-class rules. Round number one, very relaxed round. Bartel decided to kick high. Do you think that's to keep Shaq back? Maybe, maybe he wants to land that head kick. I have noticed Shaq's dipping his left hand slightly. I know it's only round one, but you can get switched out at any point. We've seen that tonight. Shin on shin action there. Yeah, twice we've seen that. Both guys deciding where they want to place those kicks and a good mix up there from Bartel as he lands a good push kick. Davis is light on his feet, isn't he? But he almost bounced into a low kick there. That land kick, low kick landed flush. Body kick lands straight after that as well. Brandon so far just throwing the right leg. As I say that, he throws the left. Let's see who's the stronger in the clinch. Yeah, they go to clinch now, and Jack Davis just holds his opponent in tight. Nothing in that. Just 
just setting up this fight nicely. Scoring on the back foot, Brandon. As Shaq steps in to throw that strike, Brandon scores well with the body kick. Likes that push kick as well, doesn't he? It's a good technique. Yes, yeah, landed. Every time he's done it, he's landed. Low kick just about missing there. Good evasion by Shaq. Covers a lot of ground with it as well, doesn't he? Slight height advantage to Brandon. Yeah, Shaq's fixed set as well in the body, though. I think as the fight goes on, you see Shaq landing body shots as well. Switches his kick for the inside. Stinging inside, low kick there. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, it's concentration on both fighters' faces here. And you know that look when you see them and you think, you've got five rounds in you, both of you here. You're just teeing up for this war. You don't want to start something too early because so that, both guys are ready to go. They're starting relaxed, but you can tell that there's venom in everything both these lads are throwing. They might not be throwing a lot, but everything they throw, there's a lot of it, bad intentions behind them. They're both ready in the story of who's the readiest. Shaq going for that inside leg again. Maybe that's a game plan. Push kicks are good, aren't they, from Bartel? Landed it again. Narrowly missing that head kick there. Evasion by Shaq. I would keep my hands nice and high, though. Brandon's attempted that quite a few times. Stop. Shaq's hard to hit, isn't he? Very composed all the time. He manages his distance well. Good ring management as well. Excellent first round. Yeah. The bad intentions was there. Almost the round you'd expect to see, isn't it, at this level? At a very high A-class level, this is a perfect round number one. Yeah, this is a high class level fight, this is. Don't forget, there's six fights left on this card to anyone who's logging in late. They we are at the business end of the show. The other card's been superb, hasn't it, Joe? Absolutely superb. We've been full of knockouts. Eight counts. Yeah, action. Yep, yep. Something for everyone. We've got Dave Benson, Sam Shanahan, and Jesse Saunders in Brandon's corner. That is a lot of experience. Yeah, he has got a lot of experience there, but the Jack and Pop Jim has been there for ages as well. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of experience across the other side too. Very, very credible gyms. They are. Seconds out. Round two. Second of five, as they enter the ring, Chris Batchador, referee, brings them together. Shaq circling to his right. Brandon just missing that low kick. Yeah, that left kick's good. He switches stance a lot, doesn't he, uh, Bartel? And that's where he managed to land that kick there, because he didn't have to tee it up, where he switched to southpaw. Body kick landed by both gents. Inside low kick by Brandon. Bad intentions. Yeah, the concentration can't be taken away from either fighter. Davies rushes in a little bit, but always composed, isn't he? Shaq seems to up the aggression for me. He, he's upped it slightly this round. He's stepping forward a little more. He's putting it on Brandon slightly more. Cuts Bra the ring off as well as he does it. They've almost switched roles compared to the other round. Brandon's now the one circling off, trying to manage the distance. Locking up in the clinch there, Shaq goes for the elbow. Couple of good knees on the inside there, Shaq Davies. And again. Let's see Brandon kneeing a bit more. Still early days. Going into the middle of round two here. Shaq going for the body shot. Combat fire series, alive from your call, London. We are live on that Leapfrog Fight TV. Left hand from Shaq. I, I notice he keeps put, he keeps touching his gloves together. He's dropping his left hand ever so slightly. Something that the corner teams will be noticing. Tries to hyperextend his opponent almost there, Bartel, but Shaq Davis keeps a low centre of gravity. I thought they were going to fall on us then, Danny. Yep. Do not flinch at any point. Body kick landing there by Shaq. Pace is going up in traditional Muay Thai and again, fashion here. Brandon returns. Shaq going for that body like you said in the first round. Nice style that, he switches and goes on the right hand. 
Both now lads. there's that push kick again. It is effective. Shaq Davis tried to catch it that time, but he couldn't. Bannon landing a good knee there. Hands in the face of Shaq. Wants very space bar too. He wants to land an elbow there as well. Shaq's very light on his feet, isn't he? Yeah, he always has been, hasn't he? Now, now he goes to the body. the body and the head. Stepping Spears elbow. That elbow the Big right elbow, elbow landed. That landed flush. Clean arm, wasn't it? That was straight on the forehead. Bartel's got centre of the ring, but Jack Davis is using the space now so he can raid him, isn't he? He seems to be comfortable letting Brandon have the centre. Yeah, he wants space so he can raid. Very but light on his feet. Oh, uh, switching left and right foot. And now, I said earlier, I'm su I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to the body. That's what he's doing, isn't he? He's going for the body. Last, last couple of seconds of that round, Shaq landed three clean body shots. You've got to think, how is that going to affect the, uh, the tank with Brandon in the later rounds? Very entertaining fight so far. For those of you watching at home, I am Joe Turner here with Danny Kendrick at Combat Fight Series at the famous York Hall. Like I say, into the business end of this show. Do not blink, because it is going to go off, trust me. Main event of Kieran Shanahan and Rion Wong. Icar, Cordorama and Alfie Pierce. Steve Irvine and Mario Alves and Sonia Din and Alex Rose. And after this bout will be Ruben Soon and Ty Barlow. We will be fighting under pure Muay Thai rules. So do not miss it. There will be blood. Seconds out. Round three. In the iconic Gil Cole. Round number three. Now this is the scoring rounds. These are the rounds you want to win if you want to win a Muay Thai fight. Barto in fast but gets tied up. Going straight back for the clinch. Shaq locking his hands together. Gets a good grip, doesn't he, Shaq? Brandon tucking his head in on the shoulder of Shaq there. Straight back into the clinch. Shinky could obviously had a word with Brandon, told him to step forward and clinch. Yeah, the feeling out's gone now. Shaq, if there's, if there's opportunities for elbows now, they'll be thrown, right? 100%. Both these lads will not hesitate to cause some damage. Bartel gets a good grip there and gets his head down low as he charges. Shaq trying to lock up Brandon, just about throwing that knee. Shaq stepping elbow. Bartel walking forward. Looks like he's got a cut on it in between his eyes there. Uh, only a small one yeah, for it's now. Only small, but there's bruising there as well. There is bruising, and them cuts can get bigger. That stepping elbow landed perfectly. Yeah. Very accurate, isn't he, in his Very work? Accurate. Always accurate, Shaq Davies. Big kick landed there by Brandon. Good right hook landed there by Brandon. Bartel, good with both legs as well, isn't he? Very good kick as a chin kick. Just pushes him off. Checks the kick as he steps forward. Big stepping elbow landed, I think, there by Brandon. I'm not sure if that caused Shaq any... Yeah, Bartel, got those tools as well. Looks energetic, doesn't he, Brad, uh, Brandon Bartel? Very, very energetic. He, he stepped it up big this round. Yeah. Shaq throwing the knees and scoring so far in this clinch exchange. Tries to turn Brandon, the hands in his face. Brandon throwing the elbow, I'm not sure if that landed or not. Good knee there. Long knee Both straight in. up the middle. He's starting to raid Shaq Davis now, isn't he? It's almost like he's starting to push here. It's tick for tack, isn't it? Very. They're going back and forth. Kicking off balance. Off balance there. Gentlemen touch gloves in exchange. So that was an off balance. Kick from Davies to the body. We wanted that body shot then again, but Bartel got himself in a good position. And now he's in a bad position. Giving his back away. Hips coming forward, doesn't he, Bartel? Warrior brain fighter. I think I think the corner have definitely had a, had a discussion with him, telling him to step forward, thinking they've had a little more success stepping forward into the clinch. Body kick landed. Good balance there. Kept his balance well, that's, Shaq Davies. That's what the judges look for. They doesn't look for balance. Go. Yeah, that's a good elbow from Bartel. Fainted and came in with the right elbow. Davies kicks the body in response. And again, Bartel moves him forward. Again, gets 
a good position. Throws that knee to the head and off balancing. Seconds out. Round four. That's massive. Um, the judges look for that. Both fighters are landing kicks on each other. Shackle balancing a few times in the clinch. Um, on the outside, sorry. Round number four now. This is called the money round. Very, very important round in Muay Thai. Brandon landing a few kicks there. Yeah, can, fights can turn around at this round, no matter what position you're in. Jack Davis, now he's going down to the body. I thought he would, but the elbow and the left hand. Brandon Bartel. And in the body kick, though, it scores. Big in kick tune, Jack Davis. In tune at the moment. Laser focus from both gentlemen. Yeah, making him miss and making him pay at the moment, isn't he? I'd like to see Shaq up the scoring slightly, keep those body kicks coming in. Need to play it safe. He's causing damage, but needs to, needs to be very, very up on the scoring. Great score Good there kick. from Brandon. Yeah, yeah, really well timed his kick, isn't it? Davis matching him here. Leans back and not making him pay on that occasion. There, there Stepped he does into it a knee there. Knee up the middle by Shaq. Those are the higher scoring knees. Elbow landed there by Brandon. Yeah, good position there. Davis has a good defence there. Stopped the elbow having the legs it needed to really damage, didn't it? The money round of a full Muay Thai rules fight. This is where the athletes are at their absolute 100% effort. Fainting all the time as he comes in, Shaq. Davis lands a body kick and a knee there, but the response is good from Bartel. Interesting exchanges because there, there's pros and cons to both fighters. They're, they're both they're both landing good scoring techniques on each other. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be a judge scoring this one. Davis good long punches, but Bartel very comfortable in there. Up the landed up there, there Davies, yeah. If, for me, if I was Shaq, like then, he's, he's just taken a body kick and not returned it. Needs to be scoring. But at the other points of the round, he's been scoring high. Knee up the middle, that's what judges look for, where yeah. they're throwing the knees. Are you throws sly knees, doesn't he, on the approach? He gets them in early, doesn't he? Uh, are you slapping the ribs or are you kneeing the centre? That's yeah. what they look for. Definitely. Evade there, but no counter. Oh, there's the elbow from Davies. Again, the defence had the hands high, so it didn't have the legs to really cause damage. Elbows flying. A little bit more blood on Brandon. He's been cut above the eye. Yeah, Shaq's landed a clean flush elbow. Split Brandon. It's a really well competing round again. See what did that? He's been cut right above the eye, eyebrow. Yeah, Dave Fensum in the corner going to work on that. Now comes the magic of Vaseline. 100%, the judges will be looking for it. That is effect. Jack has shown that he has affected Brandon by cutting him. Jack going for that body shot there. Big yeah. elbow landed. You see the close-up as they're going to work on that height. They need to get that opened up.
Obviously, if there's a cut and it's bad and affecting the vision, the ref will take a very good look at it. Doesn't seem to be running in the eye by, by the looks of it. Two cuts now on Brandon's face. Yeah, it's on the outside of the eyebrows. The inside of the Seconds eyebrows. Seconds out. Down the Around the five. You, know, you're right. you might get away with that. If it's going down the side of your face and it's not affecting yeah, your vision, you're, you're okay. They touch gloves, they exchange niceties. These are two gentlemen in there. Do not forget that first and foremost. Saying that though about the cut, they suck. <laughs> they still hurt. Don't worry, the girls love scars on men, I'll tell you that now. I'm absolutely saturated myself, so. Blood on the white shorts. That. Yep. Don't worry, guys. Oh, left hand to the body of Bartel. I was thinking those body shots would be the one, just as they set up early. I like how he steps in, steps in with his right leg, throws that left hook to the body, sets up nicely, switches stance. Jack scoring now. He is scoring, isn't he? With big high kicks. Little bit of marking on the left yeah, side of Brown's body. Not putting his hip through his kicks, is he, at the moment? Well, he is there, right on the leg. Clock just ticks down as we go into two minutes of this fight left. Lion on his feet, still the lion. Body kick landed Shaq there by Brown. He's on the back pedal now, Brandon. Shaq just taking kicks from the arm. For me, he I, would, I wouldn't be comfortable. clean kicks back. If you were a judge, how would you be seeing this? Not, really not, in, ter not in terms of a winner, I'm talking about no, this round. really close, isn't it? This round, I think Shaq's looking strong with those kicks. I think he's being controlled in this clinch. Very strong in the clinch, Brandon. But Bartell needs to ex execute more than these. Let's see Brandon turn the kicks in. What's the difference between these fighters for you at the moment as you stand with one minute left in the round, really? So Brandon's thrown kicks the whole round. However, Shaq's, Shaq's not thrown as many. However, what he has thrown, they've been they're turning in. There's more intent behind his kicks. Bad idea to go to boxing unless you need the knockout. Bartel will win it just from scoring those kicks. And not balancing him again. Jumping in with a flying knee. It's a really close fight, isn't it? No matter which way you look at it. It's I'm really interested. I'm really interested to see. I'm really interested to see how the judges have seen it. Kick again, landed there by Brandon, returned by Shaq. And Bartel's timed well, isn't he, in this round? He's landing the kicks on the back foot. Maybe Brandon yeah. senses he's on on the ahead on the cards. Shaq's landing as well, but I think it's volume for Bartel here. He's letting Shaq Davis walk into him. Shaq Davis scores as we talk right there, though. It's going to be really, really close on the cards here. Really Exciting. close. Brilliant fight. Well done to both gents. Yeah, they've been matched up well, haven't they, Joe? 100%. Great fight for the fans. Oh, hammers down on the low kick there, Bartel. Kick taken on the gloves there by Shaq again. Needs to be returning them. Both corners going absolutely mental. Well, that's really, really close. Let's have it straight, it's really close. Bartel finished well. He was in tune in time, wasn't he? 100% he landed a lot of kicks that last round. Ladies and gentlemen, after five awesome rounds of Muay Thai action, your ringside judges have reached a split decision. So let's raise a roof for your winner. In the black corner, Brandon Bartel. And let's raise a roof for our runner-up, Shaq Day.